this is Bahamas Drill Journalist here we bring you guys the story of notorious DSN stepper Delanzo Cartwright Jr. on the 15th of November 2015 19 year old Delanzo Cartwright Jr. His father Delanzo Lance Cartwright Sr. 37 along with 27 year old Duran Neely better known as Monster 25 year old Rashad Laroda better known as Ratty and 18 year old Avanti Burnside were escorted through the Court complex under heavy armed guard to be arraigned on multiple criminal charges, including being a member of an unlawful gang. The name of the gang was Dirty South Order on court dockets. Armed police, under the direction of senior officers, including Assistant Commissioner of Police Stephen Dean and Chief Superintendent Clayton Fernanda, blocked off the entrances to and exits from South Street until the men were transported to the Department of Correctional Services after 6.15 p.m. Cartwright Sr., his son Delanzo Jr., and Burnside were further charged with 15 firearm-related offenses, conspiracy to possess firearms with intent to supply, conspiracy to possess ammunition with intent to supply, possession of an unlicensed firearm, possession of an unlicensed firearm with intent to supply and possession of ammunition with intent to supply. They pleaded not guilty to the charges. It is alleged that sometime between the 1st of August, 2013 and the 6th of November 2015, the trio conspired and possessed, for the purposes of distribution, a Smith & Wesson MP10, a Narco 7.62 rifle, a Saga 7.62 rifle, a .76 rifle, a Morseberg 12 gauge shotgun, 19 live rounds of 38 ammunition, a live shotgun shell and 44 live rounds of 7.62 ammunition. When Magistrate Forbes proceeded to arraign Cartwright Sr. on armed robbery and burglary charges, the visibly irritated accused said police had already accused him of being in possession of guns despite him being in the state's custody during the discovery. Cartwright Sr. is accused of breaking into a village road residence on the 5th of November and robbing a man of $21,000 of high-end jewelry and a $1,600 Morseberg shotgun. Burnside was also charged separately with stealing a 2005 F-150 truck and a Smith & Wesson rifle. He is accused of dishonestly receiving the latter. On 3 December 2018 Delanzo Cartwright Jr. of Avocado Street, Pinewood Gardens, allegedly shot and killed George DeVoe and his fiancée Ashley Hilton as they left physical therapy at Sandy Land's Rehabilitation Center. The couple were shot in an ambush on the grounds of Sandy Land's Rehabilitation Center, where DeVoe was receiving physical therapy after he was shot in the leg. The incident reportedly played out as the victims attempted to leave Sandy Land's at the time the couple was engaged. On 29 June, 2019, Cartwright Jr. allegedly shot and killed Ian Irie Porter and Raymond Magic Adderley in an ambush outside a home in Star Estates. Ian Porter and Raymond Adderley were gunned down in a hail of bullets as they exited a vehicle parked on the driveway of gang leader Ian Irie Porter property. Those killings occurred before Cartwright Jr. was accused of the the 29th of May, 2020 murder of 5th grader Laurentia Walks and Perrin Bain in Belair Estates. Two men were accused of killing a schoolgirl as she played in her yard and have been granted bail. Laurentia Walks a fifth grade student at Sybil Strachan Primary, was shot in the head by a stray bullet on the 29th of May, when three armed men opened fire at two men in a neighboring yard. Perrin Bain died on the scene of the shooting at Bel Air Estates and Leroy Sands was injured in the same incident. Bain, you will recall, was an alleged gang boss and Bain's murder was a hit by a drug kingpin spy of Abaco Bahamas. In June 2020, police charged Alonzo Cartwright Jr of Pinewood Gardens, and Donald Cox, 24, of Bamboo Boulevard with two counts of murder and one count of attempted murder. The Supreme Court Registry confirmed that Cartwright was released on $30,000 bail with two sureties on 5 February, 2021. As a condition of bail, Cartwright is tagged with an electronic monitoring device and must sign in at a police station on Mondays. Wednesdays and Saturdays before 6 p.m. he also has to surrender to police before his trial. Cox was granted $30,000 bail with two sureties on similar terms during a bail hearing before Justice Deborah Fraser. His bail had not been signed up to this press time. More in part 2.